All right, welcome to our second video where we use two points to find the slope of a line. Let's look at this image right here, which which I pulled off of Open Reference and Math Open Reference, and we have two points A and B, and our goal is to find the slope of this line and the y-intercept. Again, the y-intercept is just the point over here where our line crosses the y-intercept, and we talked about how that's referred to as B, right? So we defined b and the and the slope of this line. So how fast is it, is it falling or rising, or how fast is the change between x and y on these points actually happening? So what do we do? Well, the first goal here and, and the focus is to f use these two points to find the slope. So let's actually find out what those points are. So looking at the graph, we can sim we can quickly find that a is 10 over 10 and up 20. So a is equal to 10, 20. b is over 40 and up 5, so b is equal to 40, 5. So we want to find our slope. All right, slope equals delta y over delta x, and that means subtract the y values, so 20 minus 5, and write it as a ratio or put it over the difference of the x values, 10 minus 40. And what do we get? Well, 20 minus 5 is 15, 10 minus 40 is negative 30. Let's reduce that. This is going to reduce to negative 1 half. So our slope is negative. And you know, in some ways, and I hear this a lot, you can look at this as if the line's going down. right? But, but that's, there's more to it than that because if I go to the right on the x-axis, that's true, my, my slope is going down. But you could read this graph both ways. What happens if I look at it from the perspective of going left? Well, then what's happening? Well, as I go left, further and further left, the height of my line gets higher and higher. So there's this duality here. You can't just look at it from left to right. These graphs can be read in any direction. So what can we conclude? What's a negative slope? Because here we have negative one half. Well, a negative slope just means that as x goes up, right, so if I go, as I go from 5 to 10 to 15 and so forth, y will go down. And the reverse is true, right? If I reverse that and say as x goes down, y will go up. There's two parts there. A little sloppy, sorry. As x goes down, the y values go up. So as I go from 50 to 45 to 40 to 35, these y values get higher and higher. This is the opposite of a positive slope. A positive slope does the reverse, right? Let me just get a quick picture of it. Here, with this positive slope, as my x values go up, so do my y values. And the reverse is true. As my x values go down, so do the y values. So it might be a good idea to stop thinking of slope simply as going up or down, but to think, as x goes up, what happens to y? If x and y are doing the opposite things, the slope is negative. But if they're doing the same things, right? As x goes up, so does y. And as x goes down, so does y. Well, in these two cases, this is a positive slope. So m equals a positive. Here, m is equal to negative. So just be careful um, when you're looking at slope to remember that positive slope means that x and y are, are increasing or decreasing together. In a negative slope, the reverse is happening. So let's get on with this and, and let's keep going because we have our slope, it's negative one half, and we want to find out our y-intercept so we can write this as an equation of a line. How do we do that? Well, we, we introduced the equation in the last video saying that the equation of a line is simply in the form of y equals a slope times x plus the y-intercept. We know our slope now. We know our m value is negative one-half. We also can pick a point, any point here, I'll, I'll pick a, and plug in 10 and 20 as x and y values into this equation. Plug it in here and here. Plugging the slope and that x and y in, we can find our y-intercept. So let's do that. How do we do it? Well. Once we plug in, we get negative one half for our slope times our x value, which is 10, right? We're going to add b to that, and that equals our y value, which is 20. 
And now we simplify negative a half times 10, that's just negative 5, plus b equals 20. What does b equal? We'll add 5 to both sides, and we get 25 equals b. And you can see it right here. The height of the point, the y-intercept, is 25. So now we can write our equation for this line as y equals negative 1 half x plus 25. And that would represent the connection between every point on this line. Let's look at two more examples. If you're given a vertical line, and I think I had mentioned this in, in other videos, uh, something interesting will happen. But let's just verify that by solving for the slope of this, of this line. Let's say A is here and B is there. They have the same x value but at different heights. So what is A? Well, A is over 20 and up 15. B is also over 20 but down 10, so it's 20, negative 10. And slope, of course, is equal to delta y over delta x. So we subtract our y values, right? 15 minus negative 10 over our x value delta. Right, so 20 minus 20. Well, 15 minus negative 10, that is what? Looks like 15 plus 10, which is equal to 25, but that's over 20 minus 20, which is just 0. Of course, you cannot divide, you cannot divide, excuse me, by 0. Right, you can't do that. That's undefined. You have no way of representing that number, and I'm not going to get into it too much here. But there are important reasons why we can't do this. So this is an undefined slope. And then we are not going to write the equation of this line. Because really, this line is just any point where x equals 20. It's every single point, every y value at x equals 20. Let's try one more. What if we get a line like this? How do we find the slope and y-intercept? Well, this is, in a sense, flat. Uh, as x is increasing, y is always remaining the same. So you might have some you know, instinct already that this has to be a slope of 0. But let's just verify that. Let's calculate it. a is equal to 20, 15. Right? b is equal to 40, 15. I'm just finding where the points are on this graph. Slope is delta y over delta x. So we subtract our y values here. Our y values are just 15 and 15. So that's going to give us 15 minus 15. And I'm going to stop there because regardless of whatever 40 and 20, whatever number I have there, I know that whatever my delta x is, as long as those two x values are not equal, which they won't be on this line, right? we have 15 minus 15, which is 0 over something. And 0 divided by any number is just 0. So here, our slope is 0. It's In a sense, it's flat. So how do we find the y-intercept? Well, of course, if all the points are at a height of 15, the y-intercept is also at 15. But let's also just use our standard algorithm so far for calculating that, just to verify and get more practice. So our equation for a line is y equals mx plus b, right? But we know our slope is 0. And we want to pick one of our points and plug that in to this formula. I'll pick the point A, which is 20, 15. So 15 is y, right? I'll plug it in here. The slope is equal to 0 times our x value, which is 20 for that point, plus b. If we multiply 0 and 20, that's just 0. And b will equal 15, as we set up here. So the equation for this line is just y equals 0 times, 12, 0 times x plus 15. But isn't 0 times x just 0? It is, right? Because 0 times anything is 0. So y equals 15. And in fact, whenever you see y equals some number, you know it's some kind of horizontal line. I think that'll really help you and save time for a lot of these linear equations. Thanks.